Indian company Krutram AI launched its own AI model, same as ChatGPT, turned out to be a ChatGPT wrapper. Google DeepMind introduced Genie, an AI capable of creating 2D platformer games from simple prompts. You can now submit feedback and rate the custom GPTs created by other users on the OpenAI GPT store. Pika introduces LipSync, utilizing Eleven Labs technology for realistic AI-generated video dialogues. Elon Musk has announced that Grok version 1.5 will be out soon. Microsoft and Mistral AI have announced a groundbreaking partnership, launching Mistral Large exclusively on Azure, some AI updates from the MWC 2024, and more AI news. Hi guys, welcome to Digest Prompt, where we bring to you the latest developments in the field of AI, starting with the biggest AI update from India. Recently, an Indian company launched its own AI model, same as ChatGPT, or more accurately termed, a ChatGPT wrapper. Krutram AI, recently announced by Ola's CEO, Bhavish Agarwal, exhibited poor responses to many user queries. The AI model couldn't even answer basic questions, such as who the founder of Ola is, or the winner of the World Cup. Not only this, but when asked if it's built on the ChatGPT model, it transparently responded with, yes. Despite receiving an investment of $50 million, it still disappointed many users, highlighting the importance of robust knowledge and an adept AI team. Next news, Google DeepMind introduced Genie, an AI capable of creating 2D platformer games from simple prompts. Developed with the University of British Columbia, Genie learns game mechanics from extensive gameplay videos, enabling it to generate interactive environments from images or ideas. Amazingly, it only takes a single image to create an entire new interactive environment. Genie is trained on over 200,000 hours of gameplay videos and can transform any image or idea into a game, pushing the boundaries of generative AI and interactive environments. Next update, you can now submit feedback and rate the custom GPTs created by other users on the OpenAI GPT store. If you don't remember, you can create a custom GPT for your own custom task, which you can also train with your knowledge base and API calls. Then, you can put them out on the GPT store to let other people use it and make money out of it. Well, now, if someone wants to give you a feedback, it is possible now, just like other app stores. By the way, if you haven't tried this yet, you can start with looking at our custom GPT tutorial video. And don't forget to like this video if you appreciate the effort. Our subscribers stay updated with AI news compilations just like this one. Next, Pika introduces LipSync, utilizing Eleven Labs technology for realistic AI-generated video dialogues. This feature, available to Pika Pro users, enables dynamic voice synchronization with animated characters. While Pika competes with OpenAI's Sora and Runway in the AI video generation space, its lip sync advancement aims to overcome traditional filmmaking barriers. Let's have a look at their announcement video. Oh my God. I'll be damned. Is this real? Pika now supports lip sync and it is truly spectacular. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. These things can talk? For real? What kind of dark sorcery is this? Mon Dieu, j'entends une voix. Well, I'm officially speechless. Giddy up! Next, Elon Musk has announced that Grok version 1.5 will be out soon. Musk said that the release of Grok 1.5 is hopefully only a few weeks away. It will come with a button, Grok Analysis, that can sum up the whole thread and replies. It will also help people in creating posts. This sounds like a super productive feature for Twitter users. By the way, we are also active on Twitter. I mean X. Next, Microsoft and Mistral AI have announced a groundbreaking partnership, launching Mistral Large exclusively on Azure. Microsoft's collaboration with Mistral AI emphasizes supercomputing infrastructure, market scale, and AI research and development. They're leveraging Azure's AI supercomputing for Mistral's model training and inference, 
integrating Mistral's models into Azure's AI ecosystem for broader access, and exploring targeted AI model development, notably for the European public sector. This strategic partnership aims to enhance AI capabilities and accessibility, showcasing a commitment to advancing AI technology and its applications globally. Now some AI updates from the MWC 2024. Jola, a mobile OS maker, showcased a device that is like a private cloud and AI router all rolled into one, making the user's data accessible for running AI queries. It's like having a personal server reconfigured for the generative AI age. Other awesome announcements include the Lenovo's transparent laptop, Samsung's first smart ring that include onboard sensors to measure heart rate, movement, and breathing to create a cross-section of the wearer's health and sleep patterns, Xiaomi's first electric car and CyberDog. It has made some changes to its dog, including a more realistic version of a head to replace the previous flatter one. CyberDog 2 can currently be purchased online for $3,000. That's nearly double the $1,600 price point of its predecessor. Next, Jeff Bezos, NVIDIA, and other tech giants have invested in Figure AI, a startup developing humanoid robots, in a funding round of about $675 million, valuing the company at $2 billion. Bezos, through Explore Investments, committed $100 million, with significant contributions from Microsoft, NVIDIA, and an Amazon-affiliated fund. This investment wave follows the success of OpenAI's ChatGPT, spotlighting the potential of AI startups to rival larger corporations. Next, GitHub Copilot Enterprise is now generally available, offering an advanced AI that customizes to an organization's code and knowledge. This tool aims to enhance developer productivity by integrating AI into the software development lifecycle, allowing developers to access organizational knowledge, understand code bases better, and review pull requests faster. Priced at $39 per user per month, it represents a significant leap in leveraging AI for more efficient and creative software development. Next, Superhuman AI introduces Instant Reply, enhancing email productivity by drafting replies for every email in your inbox. Unlike other email apps, it offers ready-to-send, full email drafts that reflect your voice and tone, making email responses faster and encouraging replies where users might otherwise hesitate. This feature, tested with thousands of users, has doubled email writing speed and is part of Superhuman's continued AI advancements, developed in collaboration with OpenAI. Next, Automatic, the owner of Tumblr and WordPress.com, is reportedly finalizing deals with AI firms Midjourney and OpenAI to use Tumblr posts as training data. Amidst discussions, Automatic is introducing a user opt-out for data sharing. This move has sparked concerns, especially given Tumblr's creative community, which is sensitive about their content's use in AI training. Automatic aims to balance user privacy with AI innovation, ensuring any collaboration aligns with community values such as attribution and control. Next, OpenAI contends that the New York Times used deceptive methods to make ChatGPT reproduce its articles, labeling this as exploitation of a bug. The company seeks to dismiss several copyright infringement claims by the Times, arguing such use of its product is atypical. The Times refutes the notion of hacking, stating they were demonstrating OpenAI's unauthorized use of their content. OpenAI's motion highlights ongoing legal challenges in AI over copyright issues, emphasizing the industry's legal uncertainties. So the very last news for today, the Justice Department has appointed Jonathan Mayer, a Princeton professor and technology law researcher, as its first chief AI officer. His role involves advising on AI-related matters, building a team for cybersecurity and AI, serving as the chief science and technology advisor, and aiding in tech talent recruitment. This move aligns with the Biden administration's executive order to enhance AI talent and create fair AI usage standards within government services, particularly for sentencing, parole, and surveillance. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching till the end. Please like and subscribe if you wish to get AI news compilations and AI tutorials regularly. 
You can also check out our website, digestprompt.io, for our AI blogs, tools, guides, link to our content on Instagram, our AI services, and much more.